The Dawson College shooting occurred on September 13, 2006 in Montreal, Canada, when Kinvir Gill, 25-year-old Kinvir Gill, opened fire at Dawson University, killing one student, Miss Anastasia D'Souza, and inju injuring 19 others, eight in critical, and six required intensive surgery, and one was left on a ventilator until November of that year. Well, today, we're going to talk about it a little bit, because the anniversary just passed, the 17-year anniversary. Luckily, there was no other deaths, except Miss Anastasia, but that's still upsetting, because there's still a grieving mother and father out there, you know? So, it's kind of a sad thing. But this man, Kimvir Gill, who did this tr atrocity... He was, he was actually born in 1981, making him 25 at the time of the shooting. And as we know, he had several social media pages. And his name on Vampire Freaks, which was a website that's probably been since just gone. Can't find it. But anyway, his, his little name, his little... Well, username, I guess you could say, was Fatality666. I know. How, how edgy. But he, he was just an edgy teenager. Like, you know, he, that's the kind of mindset he had. He was drinking the night before quite heavily until the early hours of the morning. And he only got like five hours, six hours of sleep that day. Before going to the college at around midday, 12 clock midday and the shooting would officially start at 12:48 or 12:41 p.m. and i believe it ended around 12:48 which is lasting only 7 minutes because the police quickly stopped him they rushed in after him and stopped him well he was taking people hostage and one of them James Santos Actually kept him distracted long enough for officers to get a clear shot on him. And shot they shot him in the arm. And he knew that, you know, this has come to an end and his rampage was over. And that he was about to go to jail. Well, he wasn't going to let that happen, was he? He shot himself right in the head. And he was dragged out. And I've seen the crime scene. It's pretty bad. Very bloody. And. Yeah. It's a very unfortunate case. It's a very sad case. 